Welcome back, you guys. We back with the Collegiate Valorant League. You guys better be posture checking and stretching and hydrating. Otherwise, I'm going to come and spawn camp you personally. And also, we don't have time for that because we have another match tonight. Our last match is going to be between Cal Poly Gold and SJSU. But I can't do it all alone. I can't just agree into the void. I'll be joined by the ones, the only, muted and funny man. What's up, guys? Back again. That's three in a row for me. <laughs> How does it feel? Three in a row. I'll I'll show you guys. Give me one. Just give me a moment. Give me a moment. You can you can say something, Pierce. I'll I'll, I'll come back, right back up. I'll tell you how it feels. We're just waiting on him, but yeah, feels good. This should be an exciting match tonight. I'm hoping for big things. As San Jose is, I think the only team that is actually still undefeated. Undefeated. Yeah, they uh, don't lose. Yeah. That's the whole yeah. thing. Yeah, again, the team apparently that doesn't take L's and they've been proving it so far 4-0. Um, they've had a lot of dominant wins ver and slow gold, right? I mean, last week in the match, um, me and Funny Cast, they had a dominant one as well. So if both these teams play up to their potential, th I think this one, for the first time in a few matches for us, could actually go the distance. I'm really excited for this one. But just a quick answer how I feel. I feel like I got three rings, all right? That's how I feel, because this game <laughs> got me hype. It's going to be... Uh, it should be a really intense game. We saw Cal Poly Gold just absolutely go crazy. B-Money earning himself a, uh interview as well, just completely interview, destroying. Yeah. And so we saw him do some crazy op work with the Jet. I'm, I'm excited for that. But then again, there's San Jose. And every time... San Jose gets brought up. All I hear the chat say is San Jose never loses. And right now they're sitting at 4-0, very comfortably on, on top of their little win of thrones or whatever they want to call it. But end of day, <laughs> this game is going to be really excited. And I'm ready to go! Well, <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah, this will be a solid series overall. I mean, yeah, Chris was, you know, one of the players, right, that... Um, we were talking about earlier, right? Who are the players we've been looking out for? And Chris on that Phoenix has been impressing me quite a bit. I think it was also Slow's last match. V Money was was popping off as well. I I think I think top to bottom they're pretty stacked both teams. So it it it's gonna be it. Like I said, it's gonna be a close one. I'm, I'm mm -hmm. ready for it. You what know? would you guys say is like each of their strengths? Because you guys casted the match that um, uh, Cal Poly Gold really went off in. Yeah, I mean, that they just seemed really coordinated on the attacking side. I mean, I think that was a split win they got. Um, and yeah, I mean, they weren't afraid to to push a bomb site, get aggressive, get attacking. Um, but then on the other side, I think... San Jose is not afraid to get aggressive on defense. So I could see these teams clashing like just a ton. Yeah, the I think Cal Poly Gold at least was so coordinated, calm, cool, and collective. It was a great match to see. It was almost like CSUN watching CSUN Black earlier this this uh afternoon. I mean, um they just knew what they were doing. They knew what they were playing. They knew how they wanted to play. And it felt like every time the opposing team was playing, their plays wasn't playing the play that um, they wanted them to play. So it, it was really huge for them. Uh, it, it was great, impressive work. Everybody was putting in work, especially B-Money. Again, I just shout him out because he really impressed us, getting like 3Ks, 4Ks, couple rounds in a row. Um it was really huge, but the whole team co collectively, like Vexen, Dylan, Blue, and Mo Money showed up, and we saw a lot of love in the chat for all those players as well. So uh, with Cal Poly Gold, I mean, uh, that they just did a phenomenal. I, I really have some great hopes for them, and I'm hoping and I'm believing this game is going to be a close match. Me too. Yeah, I and mean, buying, buy I think with the... The play style that, that both of these teams have should be a fun one, right? I mean, for the side of slow, not being afraid to get aggressive on the on the offense, right? You've got the teleporters, right? We've talked about bind a lot and how it differ differentiates itself from the other maps. You've got the teleporter in the middle that you can cross from A to B, and then the teleporter B long, which takes you from there all the way to showers near A. 
Um, I mean, I think both these teams could be throwing each other for a loop, and I just, I, I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a blast. I think these teams are gonna be popping off, and going at each other. You know, hopefully round after round, and yeah, and it looks Speaking like of, everyone's ready. Yeah, we gotta do, we gotta do the casters' predictions. What do you guys think? What do you yeah. guys think? The predictions. Bonnie, <laughs> go first. Okay. Oh, this is hard, honestly. This is probably one of the hardest predictions that we've had. The hardest prediction is going to be CSUN Black versus SJSU, but... Uh, you know what? Because I was... Because I was really hard on Cal Poly Green. I'll go Cal Poly Gold 13-10. 13-11, actually. Scratch that. 13-11. I believe it's going to be a close game. I'm giving my weight and my. Mm. I'm putting all my eggs, Cal Poly Gold, right now. Thirteen, eleven. I'm writing this down right now, setting it in stone. This one's hard, right? I mean, even though it's like spent, you know, all this time hyping it up and see the quality of these two teams, just the previous matches, we all know how they've gone. But I'm gonna be a believer, not a doubter. This match is going to be good. So I'm going to go to the opposite side. I'm going to say San Jose stays undefeated. Uh, but, I mean, this one will go a bit long. But I think it's going to be a 13-9. 13-9 San Jose. 13-9. My goodness. Oh. All right. So yeah, I mean, what what do you think, Queen? We got what thirteen ten, thirteen nine. You know, I like to you know not give a prediction and then just like come in at the end and be like, I was always right. <laughs> you always knew they were no, going to win. Obviously. Right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You were the real behind the scenes five head, right? Getting getting all the matches right. You know, making us look uh, not so smart in the end. So yeah, I I got gotcha. you. Her mind, her mind. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Uh, funny. Are you there? Hello? 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 Oh, Hello? Yeah, there you go. He's back. All right. I don't know what happened there, but I was saying it reminds me of the meme where the guy's kind of just tapping his head, you know, like, hey, next level, mm -hmm. next level. Big brain. Big, big, <laughs> big brain. Megamind? Are we Did having another Megamind? Perhaps. Um, can you guys give us a little refresher on the map that we're going to be playing tonight for the folks at home that just joined us? Yeah, uh, Bind, like I said, right, you know, it's a two bomb site map, A and B. Um, you're going to have some teleporter action, right? Like I've been talking about a little bit in the pregame. Um, you got a teleporter, as we can see, a bit on the mini map at the side of what is called B Long. Uh, it'll wrap you all the way back around through the attacking team spawn to the sh uh, outside of the showers. So you'll see that a lot if maybe the defensive oh, teams want to flank. Or offensive teams need to wrap back around and do uh, do a fake. Uh, there's also a teleport in mid, which can go from A over towards hookah on B, um, and you can use that as kind of a, a quick fake. You know, act like you're going A, but switch it up to B. So a lot of potential to, you know, as a pro, pro say right, play the rotations. You know, don't push a bomb site too aggressively. Kind of fake it a little bit and then rotate, but. Yeah, as I break it down, Gong's gonna already open it up for a pick, and looks like there's gonna be a bit, a uh, bit of a commit towards the A bomb site. But there's a teleporter that could always dip through it. Yep, right now we're looking at a four v four. They're getting shots on to Elvin Vex, and able to shut one down from San Jose. Shut two. Dylan getting that big kill on on Gong. Now it's only four v two, and it's not looking like a strong start for SJSU, but. We'll see what changes here in the next moments because, I mean, these past couple matches, that's what we've seen. One moment, you see oh. four people alive, and they're all dead. So it's it's going to be kind of crazy, but nice. Here come the mind games. All right, we've seen so far a double teleporter usage by Thig to make it over to B, gets one kill, instantly rotates back to A. And he's got the bomb. Uh, he's got to get the bomb down right here. At only 20 seconds left, could go for another fake, but I don't have. Don't think he has enough time. V2 situation. They will be good. The bomb down. So this is going to get them some money in the next round. But oh well, Thig with Chris could get a pinch here. It actually is going to be a 1v1 cipher. Very low health and 
Looks like San Jose might be able to turn it around and actually end up getting this pistol win if Thig is able to play this right. Oh, no, the Cypher camera comes out. He's, he's got to know where he is at this point. Be real huge. He's getting the peak. Oh, if you only knew the information that we knew. Oh, sees him. Oh. This is going to be an intense. Um, oh! Twig with a three piece. I thought he was going to choke it, honestly. When the Cypher actually popped his camera, darted him, turned around in time. I, I honestly thought Thig was going to be done for, but what a huge play by Thig to just clutch it up in the end. That was great. Great uh, game plan. And again, he got the 3K in the round, so really huge. Chris Gong also putting the work in for the team. Got one assist on the side of Chris as well. And we're seeing an investment right now come out of San Jose. So uh, this round could easily come out there, but we also see a little bit of an investment out of the side of Cal Poly. So we'll see what happens there. Dylan invests into something. Ray already oh, opening it up with Russian. a big two piece. Yeah, Bears rushing right. We didn't see it on the mini map, but went into lamps and was able to spray down too quickly. And here come the first bloods, there comes a man advantage 5v3. And we've still got actually two players from the side uh, of the Five offense actually on B. So they're just going to wrap spawn here. The Jet's going to be in for real fun as here comes a shotgun jump. Ooh. Oh, wow. Not very fun for V Money as San Jose is going to go up 2 0. And. Yeah, that's the thing about second rounds, right? Not all the teams invest. I can pull out some funky guns, and the judge is definitely can get it done on those round twos. This is going to be really interesting as now we have to see Cal Poly come back with an answer. Great plays for the side of San Jose. That was a great jet play, but unfortunately wasn't able to get the kill. And uh, it's going to be pretty intense here as we're going on to the third round in the game here man it looks like they're trying to get aggressive but bear i think still actually has the judge i'm hearing some shotgun shots go off so thank god v money backed away or might have found his head taken off but good job not getting picked and we'll quick grab a little bit of just a, a standstill here with a minute and 15 left it's going to be really huge. I mean, the side of the defenders are running down the bomb of the time to, for the bomb to be planted, the spike to get down. So this is going to be really huge. So we're going to probably be seeing a commit come over here on the side of A as we got three players from the side of Cal Poly invested into B. But uh, we'll see how this ends up going as they start getting the, the trades. We're starting to see a push. They're getting the recon. They know where people are at. Bomb's going down. This is going to be really huge. But oh. Wig and Bear opening up the bomb side. Bear for another one. It seems like he really loves that judge there. And Pierce, he's able to get some crazy kills with it. Yeah, finally it's shut down. But yeah, I mean, if you can play those close quarter situations, that's the one thing that um, I do like about Valorant compared to something like CSGO, right? It seems almost any any gun in this game you can use. You can get a you, know, you can get a kill with and make it work, right? I mean, the the shotguns work, you know, the pistols work, the snipers all work well. I mean, you see people pull out like the shorty and sometimes the frenzy for the pistols, right? It seems like every gun has a place and and can do a certain job, and if you know how to do it, you can make it work. Yeah, I agree. Everything is viable in this game, and that's what I do enjoy. That there's a lot of variety, but. Really quick, want to point out that quick flick Alvin did. That was that was nasty. Kid way. just got turned on. He couldn't do much about it. The cams go down, though. Bears running Blade Storm takes out Vexen. He's trying to go for another. Gets the oh kill on Mo God. Money. My gosh, it's a 5v2 right now in the series. As San Jose's coming out strong. Wallace incoming. I mean, they're just running out of bear just round after round whether it's a judge or that alt right there just continuously just charges at the enemy team and that's what i said right these teams depending on their sides are not afraid to get aggressive at all reina is going to get stuck not going to see a flawless but definitely cornered as well dylan is still managing to stay alive two kills of the frenzy able to heal back up chris is in some dangerous trouble if he's not able to get him but finally, Dylan will get blinded, and there goes Thig. Four rounds in a row so far, and this one's starting off hot for San Jose. They're just they're just flying right at him, and so far, Slow um, doesn't have an answer for him. 
So what can what can Cal Poly do to kind of reverse some of this momentum? Because that's one thing <laughs> San Jose they don't want San Jose to get is the momentum they already have gotten. I think they just they need to play a little bit tighter as a team. Again, we're just not seeing the entries from both sides. I mean, when you have a dominant team as as well, some people just want to play without uh, supports. But entries are not getting the kills that they need to get. And uh, I'd, I'd like to see a little bit more aggression on the side of defense. Like, yes, they do just have to wait for the offense to push in to wherever they're trying to go. But that's not working. Offense is pushing in, trading, getting a ton of kills, and they don't have an answer for it. So, like, even right now, they're able to get the bomb down. Bear's able to get some kills. Teams, Mo Money, though, is opening it up. Gong's able to get the trade. We're at a 3v3 advantage right now. And so, let's see how it goes. Yeah, it looks like we're going to see um, the Omen flanking around from the spawn. So, might be able to make a pinch and help his team out here. It definitely doesn't look like they're going to be ready for it. And yeah, Thing's able to get one, get two instantly. Gonna leave, I think it's Vex and all alone in a 1v3. And or no, it's not Vex, and that's gonna be V money, but it's gonna be real hard to get out of this one, though. Big gets finally the third, five straight rounds, and I I don't know, man. There's two there's two donuts for V money and blue on the side of the slow. My prediction's not feeling too good right about now. Look at Dig, has not died yet. Outstanding performance from Thig and the rest of SJSU. Right now, we just need to get some kills out of one the star. Blue and B Money actually were were a, a really dominant team, like duo, in the past couple matches. Right now, they're 0-5, so we need to see something come out of, out of them. Um, that's going to be probably their pivotal oh, like changing point when they get someone as their jet as aggressive and getting it done for them. So that's gonna be really huge here. But right now what we're seeing here is Chris is in hookah. We're seeing a good push. It's gonna look like it's gonna go in the favor towards B for the side of SJSU. Bullet, they're getting exchanged. Oh my Whole oh, Ray, man, he's just not, he doesn't care. He just goes with the shotguns. I don't think he's picked any SMG or AR at all. And he's what showing it. on right now, man? How is somebody with a shorty just running right at them and rolling them? And there's there's no pressure hooker right now. You've got a cyber cage. I mean, they got a cyber cage. So what, right? There's no shock dart. There's no fire coming out. They're absolutely just getting through hookah for free. Bears running into the shorty, rolling. Gong sitting there at the Odin, just spraying like the single person that peeks their elbow. Oh man, this is happening again. <laughs> what is with tonight and like <laughs> the, the matches tonight? Yeah, I, it's. I, um, I don't know. <laughs> I I don't know if it's like the the, the midweek slump, right? You know, it, it's it's hump day, right? You know, man, they're just you know going through the midweek, just you know, ready to get this week over with and. Maybe isn't the best day to play Valorant for some people, but I mean, right as we're feeling a little bit down, Mo Money is able to answer right back and get two kills, giving them, I mean, honestly, one of their first advantages so far, but, well, oh. Gon calls the Hunter's Fury and gets them, so it's not that big of an advantage yet as Bomb actually goes to the teleporter. There's nobody on B right now at all. Oh, he is waiting. Thig knows that they're going to try to come through the... Uh, teleporter and follow him hopefully waiting for it but now we see chris on the other side he's at a really sneaky place he's going to be probably able to get a flash out and shut down a couple of their players but b money answers finally with the blade storm shutting down chris it is a 4v3 but who knows gong another gong still alive revealing area that Gong's man. the champ of this Odin right now, and I mean, if he links up well with Thig right now, I mean, the, they can turn this around. Look at that! Already spraying down, gets three. Unfortunately, probably peaks a little too quickly, gets blue bombs, and go down. Blue's trying to spray through, can't really get anything. Thig will get the bomb plant, secure money for the team. In a 1v2, not much help at all. And this should be the first actually round on the board for Slow, as he'll finally go down. Hopefully this is a momentum change, right? We've all been saying that mm -hmm. momentum is key and let this be the start of momentum change. 
9,000. Every but single every... bird. We'll see if that then obviously they're gonna buy right now, but yeah, that was if that was correct, that was nine thousand. And that, I think that's so far the strongest economy I think I've seen in 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 Valorant a match of casted so far in the EDU. I mean I've seen players with eighty five. I've I do have seen individual players with nine thousand, but for every player to be on that I mean, it's a good round for slow, but that's gonna, that's a multiple round economy that you know it's gonna take the break. That's real huge. They're playing the game very well, and they're not. Oh, that was a nice little sideswipe by B Money, and it looks like he's getting some life back into him. But let's see how this this rolls out. It looks like it's gonna be a B commit as utilities being used. They're trying to get a push onto the bomb. No trades are out here yet. And we're just waiting for things to go down. Chris able to get shots onto blue, making it a 5v4, 5v3, 3v4, 3v3. My goodness! Kills are coming in so going quick, I can't even forth. commentate as fast as it's going. Ends at a 2v2. Monkey, though! Shuts Mo, down dude, two. Yeah, yeah Mo, Mo's coming up clutch for them in back to back rounds where he gets the two first bloods. Uh, pass round to start it off. Clutch play by him to get two more kills to hold off the B bomb side in this round. But Elvin's going to be able to use that teleporter that we all know so well on Bind. Get the plant down. And the defender's a little spread out, right? Moe's a little low on health. Needs to wait for the Reyna to be able to catch up and, and pinch the site together. Because Cypher, if he sticks in the right spot with his camera, can gain valuable intel and really plan out his strategy on how he wants to pick both of them off. Ooh, is he gonna be able to get the kills on the radar? Ooh. And he does! Get that but... camera out. Shots come through. Wow. What a able clutch to clutch Alvin. up the round. Yep. Nice. I think what really killed, what really like helped them get that kill was the fact that Mo Money was already hurt. So it was kind of like a, a good thing. If he didn't shut down the Reyna, which he did, they could have gone. A different way but that was great plays on alvin team captain right mm -hmm. yeah i think so alvin yeah clutch player on the cypher and i mean it, it's big right but you see on the leaderboard mo money step it up seven and eight right getting those kills i mean i i thought he's gonna be able to keep his team in the game and get two rounds in a row but you know he's got to have a little bit of help as they're going on in the rounds so but props to alvin though that's just Clutch play in a 1v2 with that cam. I have... Dylan here, though, opening it up with a sub kill. Really huge onto Bear, shutting down probably one of their most strongest slayers in this game. Hunter's Fury is coming out. A whole team getting out of dodge. Nothing's able to come out through that Hunter's Fury, though. Unfortunate to see. It is a 5v4, 5v3 now. Oh, no. 4v4 now. I don't even know where I was seeing the threes. Dyslexia is kicking in. I'm just seeing a bunch of black spaces for some reason. But that's okay but on the side of san and jose they do got a lot of hurt players but that does not matter as kills keep rolling through yeah again they get kills they capitalize they get aggressive and that's exactly what i expect out of this team right there not a slow team to to get a kill and wait around right they will attack you they will make you pay for the mistakes that you make and and they're doing exactly that as they're up eight to one right now in a, another one, game with another fun. offensive star. Yeah. This is. A... I mean, teams can do it on the defense, right? I mean, we we saw today, right? A, what was it like that first match that was cast? It was a perfect like defensive side, I think. Um. So I mean, th this map can be done on defense. It all just comes down to the team. It all comes down on how everything gets played. You are right. This is kind of rough, though. It, it's we saw an outstanding performance from Gold, and right now uh, they're not outstanding at the moment. So I'm still hoping. I'm still waiting. B Money's trying to make something happen, but already half life. He's basically one shot. Needs to back away from these challenges, but not know what to do. Ray answers though, getting the blade storm. Vex trying to shoot him down, but gets still shut right. down. These San I mean, Jose again, players are something no else. Fear. Yeah, I mean, they have absolutely no fear, right? Dashes in there, gets the Blade Storm kill, and then misses and gets forced to back down. But as I say that, Momani trying to clutch it out a little bit, but there it goes 9 1. And 
Yeah, bear bear plays the plays. Ugh, excuse me, the aggressive jet. And it's just those are the most fun jets to see, right? When I watch players like tens, you know, mix well, right? That that's how jet is meant to be played, right? You got the smokes, get your dash, your thrust upwards, just go in and have some fun. And I think bear exemplifies that perfectly. Yep, he's one of the uh, best jets i've seen going against another quality jet as well b money but b money's not answering the call for the jet as he's two and ten one and nine for blue the dynamic duo is just not showing up for gold if we need them to show up for gold but we'll see what happens here as they got three uh both sides have three ultimates and we already see the side of sjsu investing one of those oh. dylan getting the kill though onto bear Alvin, though, trading it right back. Jeez. Yeah, the, the judge is just so nasty in that corner, and Bear Why definitely got a taste of his own medicine as Dylan was able to get one, but it's not going to help much in the end. Is there you go, right? Bombs away. Teleporter is going to go. They're going to go to B and get that bomb plant down, and B Money will be able to grab a gun, but he's going to have to play this one extremely well still has full health and full light shields and a bunch of utility to use so it's still doable but they're already tagging him up here comes the hunter's fury it's going to force him to back out and making it real tough for him to get to that bomb site in the end Let's see what b bunny is able to do try to clutch his up but no chris solidifies the kill shuts him down and sends him into the dark black hole Last round the half. This is one of those other do dominant gameplays that we've seen. I mean, all tonight we had 13 2, 13 2. Right now it is 10 1. I think it's going to be either 13 1 or 13 2 again. It'd be absolutely crazy if we were able to cast three games and they all ended 13 2 for a that would Wednesday. Be crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's. Yeah, it's just been one of those nights, and I, I mean, I think it can totally end that way, right? I mean, my, you know, pr predict, predicted the team, but not the scoreline, right? I wanted to not be a doubter and, and give, you know, some hope in the predictions. I mean, I honestly just didn't even believe it, it would go this way, right? I mean, with the quality of these two teams, I thought there's got to be some back and forth. There's got to be some answer, but I mean, I guess just again, right? When, one, when a team gets going in this league so far, they just keep on going and haven't seen too many too many comebacks as of recently not very many and i agree i'm, I'm a little bit disheartened because these players were so good but oh, b money's making a time. statement that yeah, is b a money's four. going for an ace see what he can do but what he doesn't know is that the other player is actually right behind him where he needs to get the kill uh that is great to see there but We'll see what happens next. He might be shut down for the team looking over Hookah, but he Hookah might spot. see him. The first ace! ace! There we go. I don't think we've seen an ace in the league yet, but there we go. V Money Switching stepping sides. up when the team needs. Let's go. Hey. Hey, with the ace, I think it's the perfect time to bring up one of my favorite, one of my favorite things about Twitch. You know what I love? I'll have some Twitch Primes, you know? And if you and guys tip. and if you guys love aces <laughs> and Twitch Primes, just uh have you to click that sub button, check you see if you see if you have that Twitch Prime and drop one for V Money, because that's the first ace of the league. Absolutely. I know the OG Bent is not happy about that one as he's been calling it out <laughs> all season long. No aces though until today from V Money. But yeah, we need to see some love in the chat for B Money as he did some great plays there for the team. Getting a 10 2 right now. Maybe this is where they wake up. They get, they, all, all they needed is to be in the attacking side. We've seen that from teams. They just needed to be attacking. Maybe this is the close game. Attacking. That would be unfortunate. But it looks like Bomb's going to be going down right now. They're trying to get the kills here. And B Money's oh. getting the shots, but. Not able to shut down much as the team is crumbling right before his IV money. Though, able to shut everybody down. Oh my goodness. This man does not stop. He's nasty. Looked a little bit shaky. Wasn't hitting a lot of shots, but gets the one tap there. And 
Oh, they're able to clean up the round and get, get it on the board. I like the aggressive play out of V-Money, right? Being the aggressive jet like Bear was that last mm. round and just kind of taking it to him. And I mean, wasn't landing the most consistent shots, but it was forcing the enemy team to back down. And, you know, I think that's what San Jose was doing really well, right? When you're aggressive, you force the team to kind of backpedal a little bit, right? And not necessarily just rush right into you because just get a little hectic and, and some people just aren't comfortable in the situation. So I think the key this side for for slow is just going to be get aggressive, right? Do what they did, get aggressive, get in their face and, and make them backpedal. Yeah, but that was a huge statement at the beginning. I just want to highlight, well, you got V-Money shooting bodies. I think he's, he's getting a little bit too excited, but gets shut down by Bear as he gets the two piece with the judge again. Um, but it's still looking like they're doing well. It's a 3v2. It's still possible. It's not impossible, but Chris has the answer for that, too, as well, I guess. Shotgun, stingers, yeah. I mean, you get the pistol round, and there goes the thrifty, right? They can't even hang on for another round after the pistol. I mean, Bear, they should have known that shotgun was going to come out. That was great. Great answer from the side of the defense as they get another point on the board. It's 11-3 right now in the series. We've been seeing some crazy plays. Although, yes, there's a dominant, obviously a dominant scoreline right here. But we've got some record breakers. We got the first ace for the CBL season. So tip of the hat to V Money here. Uh, as again, I'll highlight that because that's really huge as well. Uh, but we see the drone coming out, trying to get the information over at Hookah. And he's going to be able to spy the Cypher, knowing that he's going to be right there. Someone did take the teleporter, though. Are they ready oh, for no. it? Oh, it's the shotgun action from Bear. Actually, there's multiple shotguns on the screen right now. You're going to see Elvin get one, wants to hop in the Hookah, doesn't quite yet. There we go. Bear gets one, hops out, but V-Money returns it. And it's going to get real hectic here as the yep, kills are already going on the board. That uh, was really huge for San Jose. Like, they were trading out. B-Money trying to say, hey, I'm better than you, but then match instantly point. gets traded. And now we're at match point 13. It's, it could go into 13, 12, uh, 13 3, honestly. But, man, this it, it's been a dominant, dominant, dominant series um, from all three matches here today at this Gamers EDU for the Collegiate Valorant League. Um, it's pretty insane. I want to see some of these... 13 tours go against each other, man, because this is going to be what really makes or breaks a lot of people. That's what I thought. That, I mean, that's what I thought this was going to be, right? That's the, the 13 tours, you know, going against each other. But uh, I don't know what's going on today. But yeah, it looks like B Money with the old pop. They're going to try to equal the aggression, and they've already got the first blood, right? The first blood's what they need to capitalize the round. Gong spraying through the wall. Stig's able to get one on the off screen, equaling it out of 4v4, and this round should stabilize as well. As I say that, Chris, they get another one 4v2. I mean, this could be game over right here. As B Money doesn't have much uh, like life left. And, oh, actually gets a spray. Nice on the Blade Storm, still hanging in there. Let's see. Can he get another ace? Can he get the double ace in the round? Oh, my goodness! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. What? Pause chair? No! Oh no! Oh, like, he's not like playing this. with him. Not no! like this. Out of my way. That no. was ultimate. He, he did not deserve that. Mm -hmm. V Money, in his man. own terms, got the bullets that were shot onto dead bodies back to him at the end of the day. But outstanding performance. He was fourteen and fourteen, but the boy went from like two and ten to fourteen and fourteen and got the first ace of the season that's really huge star player out of v money mo money as well making and moves we saw even dylan and vexen doing some great things blue stayed at the bottom of the leaderboard unfortunately but uh hopefully we can see him come back as a dynamic duel can work together uh, again but we just i don't know that was although it was 13 3 it was actually a pretty fun game to watch just because of all the craziness oh. that was going on yeah I mean, at least, at least if you're going to make it, you know, a stomp, right? Uh, you at least want it to be action-packed. And, I mean, it was, right? Bear was <laughs> as aggressive as I've seen a player be, right? Running up with a shotgun. The Jet Ultimate was bringing the action. So props to Bear for doing it and the whole team as well. 
Right, I mean, they had 10 first bloods. When they brought when they got those kills, they just kept pressing forward and bringing the action. So yeah, even though it was a stomp, it was it was you know a little bit more enjoyable to watch. And I mean, hey, we got our first ace, and that was awesome to see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, privilege. It was a unbeatable team. And... Yeah. And yeah, undefeated is at what undefeated. five and zero now. Five zero. These guys got five wins underneath their belt. They are standing strong. The the saying of San Jose never loses still stands as they de defend and put the backing behind that. Uh, looks like we're starting a dynasty here. I don't know, but that that's huge. Five and zero. We got CSUN Black four and zero. Uh, I, I, yo, can we put them on for Friday? Can they be our Friday night matchup? Let's reschedule some <laughs> things. I don't know, but I want to see this right now. Like them just go at it. That's gonna be a really huge heavy hitter game. And for all those that are watching, I would, as soon as you guys know who's playing, y'all better be tuning in. We better be having like 300, 400, 4,000 people watching this game because that's going to be, that's going to be a game to see. That's going to be a sight to see there. It is. Wednesday at 8.30 is what we heard from the magical man in our ears that are telling us. Wednesday, 8.30. Next Wednesday, obviously, this is be Wednesday. There. Be there or just don't even be a part. I mean, but be there because we want you to be a part. <laughs> you know, there's no being yeah, square. Yeah. You're, you're either you're either a true EDU CBL League fan or you're not. So it, it, that's how it is. It's just black and white. But we hope to see you guys there really quick. Um, I know McRib mentioned it in the first game, but uh, guys, we just can't forget about the mission here. And I just want to let everybody know that we care about your guys' mental health and awareness here uh, this week. Again, uh, we're focusing on a, a lot of things for you guys. We are having the, the health section for you guys always updating. We've already done depression, anxiety. We're doing cyberbullying this week. If you guys have any problems with cyberbullying please 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 do not hesitate to reach out the crying panda has a meaning behind it um we really would enjoy that you guys can use those resources that we have provided for you and in those resources you can find them in the discord and like all of us every single caster even mcrib are like broken records join the discord it's not hard yeah. there's a link below you click on the tab and it sends you to the link and it says, would you like to join the Discord? And you say yes. And if you don't have an account, then you just create one for free. Free 99, everybody. Then you're part of the Gamers EDU Discord and you have the opportunity to chat with uh, all your fan favorites, including us. So do not miss it. It is there for you guys. And again, please, 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 we can't stress it enough. Join the Discord. We have a house section there for you. We care about you guys. We truly do. Um, and we are trying to better the community of twitch here so uh please consider that yeah <laughs> yeah so i mean with that we'll be seeing you guys on friday for another round of valorant carnage i am your host queen mcgrib i stream friday saturday and sundays including tourney days so fridays my name is funny man and you can catch me at twitch.tv forward slash funnymanlhg. Currently, right now, I do Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. Sometimes right after the games, you know, you guys get rated and you guys see me playing, you know, sometimes, but not all the times. Um, and you guys can find all that information below, but pleasure being your caster. Yeah, and again, I'm muted. You can follow me on Twitter at mutedt1. As far as Twitch, it's mutedpa, but I still have yet to stream <laughs> and with that we will see you guys on friday bye